It's the Statue of Liberty like you probably haven't seen her. Large eyes, green lips, and she's wearing a hijab. This is a high school art project. We're rewarding kids for their hard work. A Santa Ana high schooler submitted the painting for this year's congressional art competition. It won fourth place and a coveted spot on her congressman's wall. It doesn't belong in a congressman's office. The placement upset members of We the People Rising, who visited Lou Correa's office recently. Would we like to speak to the district manager? Demanding it be taken down. Um, you can't find another place to put that picture. The we I mean, chose could, to hold could them put it on your, Maybe you could put it in your house. See, so in this day and age, we want to see that our uh, elected officials are of the utmost of patriotism. That's not patriotic. The video now has over 12,000 views, and the issue now has Sarah Palin's attention on Twitter. Why would this insult anybody? Korea says he won't take it down. I address issues of terrorism. We're looking at North Korea. We're looking at Russia. We're looking at our economy today. We're looking at a tax cut. We're looking at health care policy, very important public policy issues that I'm addressing right now. But freedom of speech is also very important. We the People Rising insist the artist should have the freedom to express herself, just not in a place their tax dollars fund. If it was just a beautiful picture of the Statue of Liberty, it would have, we wouldn't have one problem with it. But she had to put a, a hijab on it, and I don't think that was right. And there's nothing wrong with that per se, but it's in a congressman's office. It's where it's at. Now, the congressman says there's Jesus Christ inspired artwork at the Capitol, and no one has said anything about that. We, the people rising, say they're not familiar with that work, but they would want it down as well. Now, the Muslim group CARE weighing in on all this tonight as well, saying this non incident just goes to show just how irrational Islamophobia has become. Reporting from Santa Ana, Zorin Adamji, Fox 11 News.